say this, Nidal Bichiri needs to rely on experience because Milos Jupnik Cannon, an unknown before tonight, came in with less than five fights on his professional record. If he comes through this and wins and qualifies for the K1 World Grand Prix, it will be a Cinderella story. Look at the damage that Bichiri's taken on the left side of his face. It looks like he's wearing a purple mask. The nose has been battered. The forehead's been battered. The left eye is bruised. It's a kaleidoscope of color. Yeah, I just remember my tournament 2018. I was like this and my opponent just come with two round fight and fresh come out for me. Bichiri, 17 and four, needs to draw on every ounce of his experience against this man. Look how fresh he is. Smiling, winks to the camera, untouched. Perfect goatee, separated moustache, carefully braided hair, little sweat going around the brow and the T-section. It's his moment. Yeah, here he's just how much you want to win. Chevette Cannon will never get a greater opportunity than this to fly the Serbian flag in the K1 World Grand Prix. It has never flown there before. Final instructions. Bichiri staring at him. They touch gloves. Three rounds of action. Two extension rounds are possible. Michael Chevello Cena, Kareem in with you. Bichiri opens up with a jab, so too does Trip Cannon. Jab again from Bichiri. Who will go to the legs? It's Trip Cannon who goes there first. He's got to go to the legs. Take the gas, take the wind out of the, any sort of sails that Bichiri may be flying in these very turbulent seas that he's been going through, Nadal Bichiri. Nice outside leg kick to the back leg there from Bichiri. Short overhand right. Front kick from the Moroccan. Good parry and a counter leg kick from Chip the Cannon. He's outsized by Bichiri. Can Bichiri get in close and way down on Chip the Cannon? Right hand lead from Bichiri. Clubbing right hand didn't turn the knuckles in. Goes the body. Bolo scoop off the left. Outside leg kick from Chip the Cannon. Outside leg kick Bichiri to a front kick off the back leg. Decent pace to open up this first round. High knee was blocked on the forearm by Bichiri. Good stiff right hand Bichiri slides in the jab. Double jab from the Dal Bichiri. Outside leg Chip the Cannon. Both are taking their time. Feeling each other out. Testing the reactions, the timing, gauging distance, seeing what windows are open. Good body shot. Belly button through the back from Bichiri. Jumping punt kick there from Chet Buchanan. Bichiri goes double up off the left and the right hand single, thrusts out the jab. Spinning hook kick, how do you do? He caught him, he caught him. Camille, watch, capitalized, jumping knee, but he clinched one from the referee. But he caught him with a spinning heel kick. Yeah, he did see, he did see. I think he should, he should put, he should put more pressure. He's grinning here. Chip the cannon is grinning at Bacheri. He's a nasty man, this Serb. Nice high check, evades a good lean back like Fat Joe to get out of the way of the spinning techniques. Kicks to the back leg to Bichiri. And Bichiri is a human sponge. He can absorb punishment and he's taking punishment. He's still standing. And so long as he is vertical, Nadal Bichiri is a threat. He cracks the back leg again of the serve. Double leg kicks. This is what we wanted to see tonight from these heavyweights. Yeah, I think uh, the kick can be decide who can win this fight. The first round goes the way of Milos 
Civek Tikanen of Serbia. 10-9 as Errol Zimmerman gets in the corner of Nadal Bacciri. What will Errol be saying to Nadal right now, Cena? I think, I think that, you know, as I told you, the low kick can decide who can win this fight because both are fighters. Uh, tired now is not first fight and more low kick more low kick can uh, make them make them tire and then they can throw the punch but but I say like we can see just they just uh, they just do more punch this for the right to fight on December 14 and the K1 World Grand Prix final in Tokyo how about that spinning heel kick from Milos Chivet to Cannon of Serbia taking the first round unofficially 10-9 on our scorecards I do like the way Bichiri has thrown the leg kick to the back leg. Oh, Chivet to Cannon. Let's see if Nadal can up the aggressive meter in the second stanza. Milu should get the fight more serious if he want to win. Good low kick early on from Nidal. Milos, two punch combination. Nidal has the size weight advantage he is hulking compared to Milos a very lean heavyweight reminds me of the physique of Zabit Samadov drifts off to his right moving from the hips gets out of the way the turning back kick trying to intimidate and frustrate Bichiri Milos is just oozing with confidence here Jab from Bichiri. Right hand lead from Milos. Cracks the outside leg kick. Really cutting down a 45 degree angle on those quads. And you see Bichiri again attack the back thigh. Inside leg to the femoral profunda. And then the common peroneal nerve on the lead knee. Nice knee to the ribs from Bichiri. Up up Bichiri to a left hook. Bichuri has the weapons, has the experience, has the power to drop Chivet to Cannon. Has he got it deep in the well of intestinal fortitude to go to that place? He's going to have to go to a deep place. The leg's bugger though. The leg's hurt. It may be over. He's out. Bichuri may not be able to go on. Is this the time? Is this the moment for Milos Chivet to Cannon? Bichiri is still going. The corner's got one hand on the towel. Bichiri is going to have to throw down and give it his all. But that leg's almost gone. And Chivet the Cannon knows that he's nasty. He's going after the leg. His ginger on the feet is Bichiri. That leg is ripe for the picking as Chivet the Cannon goes there. Yeah, I told you, low kick, low kick decide who's going to win this fight. There it is! Let's see. It's over! It's over. It's good night, Irene! Can you believe it? Can you believe it? The reserve <laughs> fighter! The reserve fighter from Serbia, Milos Cevetti Cannon, has done it! Wow! Cevetti Cannon has won this tournament. I do have a question mark, though. I do wonder how bad that leg is damaged. And Bichiri, I'd love to get a good look under the hemline of those trunks to see how red it is. You know, for him to give up, Cena would have to be incredibly hurt. Yeah, I told you, low kick, low kick gonna... We said it all night, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Everybody should have been throwing low yeah, kicks. Yeah, it's true, it's true. I told you, this fight, the low kick can decide who gonna win. The winner of the K1 World Grand Prix in Sarajevo is the Serb Milos Cevetti Cannon. Thank you for this fight. It was good. The fights are very good. was very good. And we see the next year. Thank you for all. Champion K1 World Grand Prix Sarajevo 2024 from Serbia, Milos Cevetti Well, congratulations to Milos Cevetti Cannon. Folks, it has been a crazy, unprecedented, crazy night of drama, controversy, injuries. 
here in Sarajevo as a result of that. I am told that K1 will discuss all that went down tonight over the next few days and make a decision on Milos Cevetikanen moving through to Tokyo on December 14. Given he is a reserve fighter, given there were injuries to the likes of Yildirim and the injury to Bacuri coming in, the injury to Tosic as well, Vujovic's injury, we may very well see Cevetikanen go through to Osaka in October and a qualifying fight there for the Grand Prix in December. Either way, a night of drama. I mean, Cena, you could not have scripted more drama than what we saw tonight in Sarajevo. It was, it was amazing. From the moment Claudio Estrate walked out of the arena, yeah, when, I he, think... when he chucked the wobbly, had a tantrum and walked out, it all just became controversy, drama city. Yeah, I think uh, it's a start from the Claudio drama and... This tournament is, has a lot of drama, you know. If you have just tuned in and you're wondering what we're talking about with Claudio, we've told you that he walked out of the arena, did not want to fight an extension round. Then he sent a message to K1. I do have the message here. I'll say it again. It came from Italian to Japanese to English. Dear K1, I am very angry. I was the more effective fighter. I didn't even get hit with a single leg kick. Why was it a draw? After three rounds, I had two more fights. I just can't understand. You set me up and I can't go on.